Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this tutorial we use Copernicus website to download Sentinel-2 images and display the downloaded image in QGIS. Sentinel-2 satellite acquires optical imagery at high spatial resolution, 10 meters to 60 meters, over land and coastal waters. Sentinel-2 images can be used to map changes, forest monitoring, plant growth, etc. You can ask your questions in the comment section. Let's get started and download Sentinel-2 images. Firstly, we need to go to .datapace.copernicus.eu website. You can either search it in your browser or click on the provided link in the description of this video to redirect you to the Copernicus website. After entering the website, a page like this will open for you. On the right side a series of useful tools have been prepared and on the left side the settings have been prepared. We have to log in to our own account, so click on the login option. Enter your email and password to log in. If you haven't created a user account on this website already, click on the register option, fill the required items and create your account. The website has two general sections, visualize and search. In the visualize section, you have all the settings to show Sentinel images based on collection, date and such. For instance, you can choose a variety of configurations. Among the results, by clicking on each one, that layer will be displayed. The search section, which is the most important part of the website, is the section where images are downloaded. Using the available tools on the right side, we draw a polygon on an area to show us the images of that area. From the data sources section, we select the Sentinel-2. Using the filter option, you can apply the required filters on the output such as platform, collection, etc. There are two models of images available, we choose the L2A option. But why L2A? L2A has been atmospherically corrected. Therefore, L2A is bottom of atmosphere values and L1C is top of atmosphere values. Then we set the cloud cover filter to a lower number and set a desired time range to show the results in that interval. And finally, we click on the search option. Here it displays a list of images. Based on the characteristics of the image, we choose one of them. By clicking on the image, its information shows up. Also, an info option has been provided which gives more information about the selected image. For example, the location of the image can be seen in the footprint section. Here are image name, image size, sensing time, platform short name and instrument short name. The rest of the image information can be viewed if needed. After choosing the best image, now click on the download option to download the image.
After downloading, you can see the image. We open the QGIS software, you can use other software to display the image. To import the image, you can simply drag and drop the whole downloaded folder to the QGIS, the software automatically recognizes the image files. Here it asks us to specify which of the set of bands to display. Since the image of Sentinel-2 is different in terms of accuracy, we choose the first option to show us the bands that are accurate to 10 meters. Here you can see the image of Sentinel-2 at 10 meters. You can also choose L1C. Here are the relevant images listed. We choose one of them. Image information can be seen here.